Question from YouTube. Do you know any books, courses, or lectures that cover human sexuality and sexual relationships that is relevant to game? It's pretty hard to understand the female perspective and emotions if you've always been a dude. Yes. Yes, I do. Oh, you want to know what they are? Okay, cool. So, um, there are a bunch. One of the areas that I recommend you study for this is evolutionary psychology. It's, it's a branch of science. Um, so that branch of science is very good. The next branch of science is really good is the psychology of persuasion. So with that in mind, a couple books I would throw out. Um, first one, The Moral Animal, um, by I believe it's Robert Wright. Uh, we can double check. Uh, we'll put links to all these in the description if, if they're available as well. Um, but The Moral Animal by Robert Wright is very, very good. It basically gets into how we evolved psychologically. So um, not just why we have fingers and toes and arms and legs and stuff like that, but why our brains have certain emotions, why we experience love and affection, devotion, um, why we experience loyalty, um, why we even experience things like altruism, which would seem to be contrary to our survival and reproduction um, kind of needs. So... A really, really good book, very in-depth um, and well-written as well. Um, it kind of traverses um, Darwin's journey in discovering these things and kind of juxtaposes it with Darwin's life. So it's a fun read as well. It's a bit deep, um, but it is very good. Um, another book that's a little easier read in terms of evolutionary psychology that will absolutely blow your hair back and knock you on your ass <clears throat> and also make you not trust women ever uh, is Sperm Wars, uh, but I believe it's Robin Wright for that one. Um, again, link in the description, and we'll check the author's name for you and whatnot. Um, that one is crazy. It basically explores why women have sex, what the sexual act does in terms of um, reproductive value. So for example, sex where there's an orga orgasm is more likely to lead to children than sex without an orgasm. Um, and it deals with why women cheat, when women cheat, how when women cheat, they're helping one man or the other impregnate them. Different things like that. It's pretty fucking scandalous. Um, if you've ever had a girlfriend and had the relationship end, you may see some behaviors that she did at the end of your relationship that may make you think, holy shit. Um, but yeah, really good book, really informative. Um, next one in terms of psychology of persuasion is um, Influence, um, How and Why People Agree to Things by Robert Cialdini. That will tell you a lot about uh, people's cognitive biases, um, the things that um, will lead people to make decisions, the p things that will lead people to rationalize decisions after the fact, the things that will like lead to people determining their identity one way or another. It's, it's, it's pretty fucking crazy. Um, if you've never explored those areas, it, it will shock you, including <clears throat> there's a lot of experiments they talk about, psychological experiments in that book, that are no longer legal. Um, because they were too extreme, but um, they, they were performed and the results are, are very, very famous. Um, so it, it will definitely shock you as well, um, but very, very good book. Um, beyond that, um, I would say next things to, to look at, um, a really good general book that I like. This is not like scientifically rigorous by any means, um, but is um, Stranger in a Strange Land by Robert Heinlein. It's actually a science fiction book, and Robert Heinlein is by no means an authority on human evolution as far as I know or anything like that. Um, but it is a really good book <clears throat> on sort of the philosophy and psychology of multiple relationships and um, non-jealous love, um, which if you do want to date multiple girls is a very kind of useful philosophy to understand and a useful philosophy to kind of be in alignment with. Um, so I personally found it useful, whether you will or not. You know, that's, that's debatable, it's up to you, but I personally did, so I'll throw that out there. Um, final one I'll throw out, I believe is out of print, um, but it is called The, the Truth About uh, What men, Women Really Want in Men. Um, it's an old book from like the 60s or 70s or something like that. I found it on my dad's bookshelf when I was like in, in middle school, and it was probably the first thing that got me really thinking about game as game. Um, and like I said, it's probably out of print, um, but it did a really good job. It basically had, had surveyed women um, in that era um, on what they liked in men, and then they tried to generalize it. And they did, I think, a pretty good job. They essentially generalized five traits that make an attractive man, and you may have seen some of these traits in a video of mine that I had years and years ago. Those traits are attractiveness, assertiveness, assuredness, attentiveness, and aliveness. Um, and I'll, I'm sure I'll make a video specifically about those traits again because um, it was a good video, it did very well, and, and I thought it was very informative. So at some point I'll make that video again or something like it. Um, but in any case, um, that approach, <clears throat> while it was a survey approach and while like made as a pop literature type of a thing, I think it actually, the, the, scientific, the science was done well um, because the conclusions do hold up to my personal experience over time. So I give that book a lot of credit, although I think it's out of print. Um, final one I'll, I'll throw out because I have to every single time 
is the book Making People Talk, um, which is just a good book on conversation in general. And the reason I, I joke about this is um, I think when I first started recommending that book, it, it sold for like $10 a copy. Now if you look on Amazon, it's like $200 a copy or more, um, I think largely because I started recommending it, so I'm sorry. Um, for doing that, um, but the concepts, um, the Bar Barry Farber's concepts on conversation are very, very good as well. Um, I'm sure there are plenty of other good books on conversation, so if that one is out of your price range, because I've sadly made it out of your price range, um, then obviously get one that, that is within it. But definitely reading books on general conversation will be useful. Just remember you're going to also have to establish premise. You're also going to have to make things man and woman and take risks, not just have good banter and good general conversation, because good general conversation will lead you to the friend zone. Um, Beyond that, there are two other courses I would highly, highly recommend to you. Um, the first one is The System, um, which is my, my course, probably, probably like my masterwork course, a to, a to B to Z all the way, how to game, top to bottom. I'll put the link in the description. And then the final one, which you absolutely should pick up more than any single one on this list, because it is amazing and it's also completely free, is Winner Game, um, which is also by me. It's at Todd Winner Game by, by sorry, ToddWinnerGame.com, um, link down below in the description. And again, it's completely and utterly free. You're silly if you don't check it out. Um, so those are the resources I would look at for learning, A, the psychological and scientific underpinnings of game, but then also really, really practical, good advice for different areas of game. And again, pick up Winner Game. It's free. You're silly if you don't get it. Um, and I'll talk to you on the next video. <laughs>